This is so crazy. And guess what? I still watch cartoons and stuff. Hey, I boy, I love me some cartoons. I love, I love to see Popeye and Olive Oil like when he scratches his little skinny self all the way around and Bluto be fighting, they be fighting over. <laughs> Popeye, save me! <laughs> they pull him back and forth like rubber bands. <laughs> What if you had a woman that, that you could just scratch your legs and then pull it as you walked? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Blue though, he was the bully. <laughs> I saw him in real life, he wasn't as tough as he was, as he was in the cartoon. <laughs> oh shit. Man. Popeye didn't work for him because he could use Spanish. That was just a fairy tale. <laughs> I said, nigga, do it not. <laughs> I got the real spinach. <laughs> and out of boy's mind, <laughs> he was like, that was just a cartoon. I don't want it. She don't have enough meat for me. <laughs> you want her? Spinach ain't working for her either. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, have you ever been around some thieves and you lay something down? And you know, I test the thieves, thieves sometimes. I, I put something right there on the side and, and just wait. And I know they 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 they, they temptations is, is just can't exist of getting it. So I put something down there, but what I did, I had put some glue on it. On my little it was a it was a um, flashlight. So when, when 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 they touched the flashlight, it stuck to their hand. It was crazy glue. And after I turned around real fast and and and, and called them, they couldn't put it away. It was talking to me from the back, talking about <laughs> what you looking for. I'm looking for my flashlight. Give me a handshake. Here, try this hand. I said, give me a handshake. <laughs> they gave me a handshake. The light came on. <laughs> And then she was talking about, you see that light over there? <laughs> I was like, it's from you, that's my light that was missing. That's crazy. I mean, yeah. I remember back in the day when we was coming up, we used to slide on back of cars when the, when, when the snow be like five or six inches deep where we could slide. <laughs> Boy, I slide on the wrong car one day. <laughs> I slide on a, a criminal car. <laughs> he 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 looked, He saw me though. He saw me in the uh, review mirror when I got on the car. He put that car to the float. I mean, he was doing about six. I'm dragging like mud. I know if I fall off, I'm 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 gonna I'm I'm just gonna go into something because he was going too fast. He was like, yeah, I heard him. He he, he let down his when he was like, yeah, you little mother, yeah, you little motherfucker. I see you got on back of my car. I'm finna drive your little little ass fast as I can go. I was like, please stop, please stop, don't go so fast. My friend, they was way back there laughing. <laughs> Man. And he he finally stopped. And uh boy my jeans and everything were tore up. <laughs> had gasoline oil all on me, but I still had to go to school because if I go back home. You know what I'm saying? My mama gonna be like, what you been doing? Cause you know, we got butt whoopings back for get, for doing things that we had no business doing. We got butt whoopings, you hear me? I'm talking about whoopings like with stitching cords and and and, and, and uh, iron and, 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 and crowbars and, 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 and leather belts and all that. We got whoopings. And you know, I know some of y'all remember the whoopers. Ooh -wee. Well, I know one time I got a whooping boy, my father whooped me so bad, I had, I said, Dad, you, I said to myself, Dad, if you hit me again, I'm out to fight you. Came down with that belt, I grabbed that belt. He said, oh, you want to get tough, son? You want to get tough? He pulled out a, 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 what they call it, a gas gun. <laughs> And I ain't know what kind of gun it was. He was, I was ducking in that thing. I, 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 I wonder why he didn't never shoot at me. He wanted to be up close to me, like in my face. I kept ducking. He was like, "I'm gonna get you, little badass." Now, and and he was, he was like, "I'm gonna get you." 
and he shot that gun. I ain't never seen nothing come out, but I, I, before I know it, I was knocked out. I got to start laughing like, <laughs> what be some more? <laughs> Ooh, you look funny, daddy. <laughs> it was like laughing gas. Boy, I ain't saw a gas gun in so long for, since that day. I tell you, I tell you right now, boy, you whoop a kid now, they talking about, I'm going to call the people's on you. I'm going to say you don't and don't. And you don't love your kids. And look at our clothes. We look at my hat on these shoes for a whole week. <laughs> I'm going to tell the people's that. And you be telling them, hey, girl. Oh, hey, hey, son, you tell them that we ain't gonna see you no more. That's okay. At least they'll buy us some clothes and stuff and, and send us to school on time. <laughs> Boy, it's crazy. It is crazy. I remember back in the day when the gangs was out, like the disciples and vice lords and all that type of stuff was out. Boy, you couldn't wear your hat a certain way back in the day. I remember I went on Thursday night somewhere over there. And on, we call it the, the low end in Chicago. I remember I went way over there on Thursday night. I had my little finger waves and I had a heart in the back of, back of it. And I mean, I was I was creased. You know when you know when we wore waves back then, it had to be creased. <laughs> but I went on over there and, and and I was walking. But you know what I forgot. Kind of for where I was, you know what I'm saying. But this was like Vice Lord neighborhood, or what they what they call it back then, the Vice Lord neighborhood. I'm walking out, but you know what? I didn't look at it of uh, gang banging with hair and stuff like that. But back in the day, boy, they went by hairstyle and all that. And uh, I was walking, boy, and I and I heard somebody whistle. I turned around, I saw about 15 dudes behind me. But I I played like I didn't see because I, you know, I was carrying my boom box and I was playing Michael Jackson song too, so that really probably flicked it off. I didn't, I wasn't playing like Run DMC and all that. I was playing Michael Jackson song, like walk down the street at about six in the, in the afternoon. And I was playing the lady of my life. There'll be no darkness tonight. Lady I love will shine. Light in my life. Boy, I, I saw some dudes, they playing basketball, I want to do a whistle. I have my radio. Just put your trust in my heart and meet me in paradise. I said, uh oh, look like I'm finna be going to paradise. One dude started jumping off the windows, out of the windows, off the roof. I said, boy, it's time for me to go. That radio was still playing. Just bring your chest in my arm. Come. They were like, come in, nigga, come in, you donut. <laughs> well, what I did, I, I hold on to that radio. Boy, if that bus would have been at that corner, I'd have been a dead soul. Because, boy, they want to do something to me. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, y'all gotta y'all gotta watch what you wear out there because you got some gangbangers that spot everything on you. <laughs> it could be a, a stain in your shirt. They wanna fight you about that. <laughs> Talk about it like a six point star. That is a stain, man. You you just up to trouble. <laughs> boy, I'll tell you, boy. I used to love to take pictures, but I did again. I used to didn't like to take pictures unless I'm dressed up. <laughs> Back then, your mama seen this school boy, go on home, boy, put on this tie, this tie right here, put on that tie. One of them big old bow ties, remember them big bow ties look like, look like a Christmas, you look like a Christmas present. <laughs> Going to try to take a picture. <laughs> that was back in the day, the big old ties, you know what I'm saying? They be so big, you look like you got a screwed neck. <laughs> Talking about Mr. Reeves, say cheese. <laughs> They was like, what's wrong, Mr. Reese? I don't like the way I'm dressed. <laughs> well, put you on that big checkerboard jacket talking about turn, son. You look good. Go to school with the Jerry curl juice dripping all down your shirt and shit. Talking about that thing going to come out by the time you take your picture. You're teaching them they're going to laugh you. <laughs> I remember I had some people, I used to see some people go to school just to eat lunch. <laughs> oh, they couldn't wait. 
<laughs> they looking at the clock talking about, man, I can't wait till lunchtime because they don't eat at home like that as much. They be waiting on lunch. Actually, everybody lunch, at, at lunch talking about, hey, can I have your, uh, your sloppy joe sandwich? <laughs> hey, let me get that milk. They be having it all right there. This time, it's the lunch time over with, and they, they, they ain't finished nothing that they asked for, and still talking about, y'all yeah, go ahead. I don't care if I get spent, I'm finna finish eating. Cause I ain't gonna eat when I get home. <laughs> My father and mother, they a bully. <laughs> they like, they treat us like cavemen. They say we can't eat at a certain time. <laughs> they got a lock on the phone. <laughs> They got a lock on the refrigerator. <laughs> we can't eat when we want to. <laughs> on field trips, all we have is peanut butter sandwiches <laughs> and sugar bread. <laughs> have you ever had a sugar bread? Oh, boy, that's terrible. <laughs> that's your sweet for the day. Go out there and get some sugar bread. <laughs> boy, that's crazy. I got some friends, too. They little people. And every time, every time I get mad at somebody, I take the little people with me just so they can do my work for me. <laughs> I say, oh, they want to mess with me, I'm going to send my little peepers on them. So I, I put them in my, I put my little peepers in my pocket. And, 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 and when I want them to do something, I tell them, hey, go and run up her leg and just mess with certain things on her body and come back. They'll do it. <laughs> they stop messing everything on the person by the time. Oh, oh, what is this? What is this? That's little man. <laughs> That's little pinky. <laughs> That's little freak. <laughs> little criminal. <laughs> well, little people do something. Tell you, boy. You can't say me and you be thinking they little roaches. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. I remember the time, one time I went to uh, to the zoo, and the animals they was looking at me. I wonder what they looking at me for. They thought I was one. They thought I was one of them. Thought I was an animal. They started talking to me, talking about you need to have your butt over here with us. See how it feel to be locked up behind bars all day, every day, and getting fed what we don't want. <laughs> I was like, don't y'all hear that? They're like, hear what? And these animals talking to me. Ray, there's something wrong with you. We need to take you in and go get you checked out. Man, listen. Yeah, you need to be over here. This 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 a gorilla. You know I ain't going to I ain't messing with no gorilla. <laughs> Shoot, I ain't messing with Gorilla, cause Gorilla, they too strong, boy. They'll knock you out with a passion, boy. They'll make you see the future. They thought I was crazy. Boy, that's, that, that's it. Thank you. I remember the, anybody remember the break dancing days? <laughs> well, it was tough. Cause what we was like, we was like fighting for real, and uh, I went against one dude. His name was uh, what did he call his name? Wait, what did he call his name? He called his name the uh, the Electro, Electro, and I was jumping jammy red, but they called me Red Boy. I was Red Boy, cause you know. Back then, we when we young, we say boy or instead of saying uh, man, we say boy because back then we thought we a boy, we a man, which is true. <laughs> but uh, I was red boy, and that was electro. And this dude really acted like he was like, so what? What you want to do? I was like, what you want to do? And nigga like, nigga what? Nigga what? I got some cold. Watch this. I'm like, oh shit. Is that what 
Man, that top is nigga black trout. Okay, it's time to get out of there. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Uh huh. What? What? Watch this. Uh huh. Uh 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 uh. Watch this. I'm riding the bike. Oh, nigga, that ain't gonna do it. That. This is what he said. Oh, nigga, that ain't what I'm gonna do. That. Nigga, watch this here. Watch this. Look. Look. I can give you. I can do. Well, I'm not doing your ass, boy. Look. Watch this. Watch how. Watch how I move. Uh huh. Uh-huh, yeah. So what? What you gonna do? Uh-huh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Look at me float, boy. Look at it. Yeah, I know y'all remember that. Yeah. How many of y'all used to tell y'all teacher that you lost your coat? <laughs> They'll tell you, go to the lost and found. Well, I was one of those. <laughs> Every week, I lost the coat. <laughs> I go right to the lost and found. One day, I, I went to the lost and found and wore the coat the next day to school. Somebody spotted it. I'm like, man, ain't that, that, ain't, ain't that's that coat? <laughs> How you get it? But what it was, there was a coat that they was looking for. The FBI's, you know, I'm having to go in the lost and found and get up. That, hey, if it's lost and found, it ain't like stealing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like stealing. You know, they don't mind us putting on the coat because it's going to go to the to, to the donation or to the Goodwill store or the Salvation Army to somebody donate, you know, and this is in school. So, so they spotted the coat and were like, Man, we gotta get that coat. That motherfucker wearing the coat that we um killed that dude and, and, and burnt up and burnt up their house and, and shot the mom in the head and, and took the babies and, 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 and blowed them up too. Man, we gotta get that coat. We got it got it got the um the trace on that coat. They uh looking for the coat because they remember it was blue and red and it had spots on it, but the spots look like it ain't he don't know that. Hey, we gotta get that coat. Okay, now, now, now I'm in trouble. Now, <laughs> I swear to God, it was like a movie, y'all. Man, they everywhere I went, I saw people just looking at me. These was dudes, rough, tough dudes, look like Jane Bond and, and and um, you know, people's like that, and they was looking like. Yeah, mother. I mean, make it fair, boy. Like, what the hell they doing? Shit, this lost the found shit done, done caused me a problem. <laughs> the coach started talking to me. <laughs> you need to get them people the coach back you've been getting them from, but you got the wrong one this time. I was like, I know this ain't for real, this coach talking to me. He was like, yeah. But what it was, the coat got hunted. <laughs> because it was already buried when it was in the lost and found. <laughs> you know, it was lost, but I found it. <laughs> and uh, the coach said, you know what? He, he, he used this, you know, this is the, this is the baby. <clears throat> this is the last words that, that the baby was telling the parents before they all got killed. <laughs> Mommy, I want ravioli. And I'm at the bar. I went to the restaurant at the same time, and I never ordered nothing like that in my life. I had ordered some ravioli, and people was in the restaurant looking, looking. I hear baby. I'm scared, and they all looking at me like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm making these sounds up. Like one dude uh, in the next table talking about, "Hey man, I wish you stop acting like that, man." Show some house home respect. You're a grown man. And, the, and then here come here come uh the lady hollering. 
I, but I had to use the bathroom at the time when when the coat the coat had calmed down a little bit. And uh, I went in the bathroom because I had to take a leak. After, but I, you know, I left my food there because I was coming back to finish because I'm at a restaurant. So I went in the bathroom. The lady came out on the coat. Now, everybody, I came out there, came out the bathroom. Everybody looking at me. It was quiet. First, it was all you know, like restaurant sound. But when I opened that door, it was like I was in another world. They was looking like. They thought I went in there and did something to myself. You know, like the word just start with a J. And, 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 or the word start with messing with myself. They thought I was, they were looking at, but this was the coat. Because they know a man I'm supposed to be streaming like, ah! what else? Unless he done got his fingers snapped in the window or something like that, but no. That was that lady came back. And you know, that's crazy. But I remember one time when we used to go trick or treat. We didn't we didn't go trick or treat. We used to like to snatch people bags. <laughs> I mean one time, boy, I thought this little shawty was a shawty. This was a midget. I snatched that bag, that motherfucker turned around. And hit me upside my head. I said, "Boy, I ain't know no baby can do that. Like hit like that. That wasn't no baby. That was a midget. A midget was like, come on, come up. You know they got them little screw on and them little legs. That little mud went between my legs and flipped me over about twelve times. I looked like a little animal. That was crazy. Tell you, boy, y'all better." Leave them bitches alone and don't underestimate them at all. Cause boy, they do something to you. They can, they can, they can go between your legs. They can jump high. Must be like, must be like little toys to you. You be like, ah, Lee, where that mother? He over there. Oh, he done been a beat your butt about twelve times. You got a black eye there thing just within a second. <laughs> Leave the midgets alone. That's why when I see midgets, I, I walk past them, I don't say nothing to them. I just keep on walking. I see a midget right now, I'm going out the room. I see a gang banging midget, I'm really leaving. And all and everybody that the member of their gang is bigger than them. They they like to stay little. They like to be the little person. Because some people scared of little people. And when you mess with them midgets, you're going to be one of them. You're going to be talking about, why I'm so tall? Why I can't be little? I'm so big. My brother, he weigh 900 pounds. He eat a lot. We can't get him off food. <laughs> Have you had somebody in your family that was fat? Man. It's something about fat people. They just can't leave food. Out. They just can't get it out their mind. They just can't stop want food. They eat all day. Take invite them to a restaurant. That's the worst place you can do. Invite a fat person to a restaurant. All you can eat. Twenty four hours a day. It stays open. Man, I had one, one where I took, I think it was four of them. I took four fat people to the restaurant, you know, because I thought I might treat somebody. I said, you know what, I'm going to treat some fat people, and we're going to go to the old country buffet, and it's all you can eat, and this day they stand open 24 hours. I thought, I thought that they would give up. Man, I took them fat people in there. They work together. See, fat people work together. You get the pops, he get the pies, and I get whatever I'm supposed to get. <laughs> Man, the people with deserted, after the, you know, when fat folk, when fat people get through eating, they do one thing and two or three things. One thing they do, they poop. See, some people call it poop, 
Babies call it poop, grown people call it fart. And it was doing all that in that plate. It wasn't no more food left. They were eating all that, eat all out of other people's plate. Come on, talking about. I know how that tastes. <laughs> Big as hell. Talking about y'all should have watched the Fat Boys movie. They turned that on. You know, they had streams in, in the restaurant on, on the dang people watch football, you know, like sporting, like how they usually do it. Them, them dudes that went off and put the Fat Boys on. Stick em, ha ha ha, stick em, <clears throat> stick em, ha ha ha, stick em, go on a rocket to the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then the movie when the fat boys made, they had that plan, they had the video, they planned it, while they eating that thing, they were laughing like motherfuckers, throwing bacon at the TV, talking about, they can't beat us eating like that. <laughs> there was a movie that came out in the 80s when the fat boy came out, they, they had that plan. Well, I'm telling you, I remember, I knew, I knew this girl, her name was, she had a name that is hard to remember. So I just went off the name of Stinky. <laughs> Cause I tell you what, she was a nice little girl, but she was stinky. Have you ever had a friend that looked at nice and they were stinky? <laughs> it didn't matter what she had on. She can bathe, she can spray cologne, but it's just something about that smell that would not need that child. We walked down the street, we had to go to the other side, of what we call the Divala. We had to go into the Divala. Divala started moving when she went. I told her, you know what, this is strange. Divala, if, if, if that Divala fall, we're gonna be some swoosh dead, no fine body ass people. They might find her because they gonna sit her. <laughs> and then when we were walking, I saw I turned around, it was some cats and dogs. First it was two. And you know you'll never see cats and dogs hang. They was all behind them. And then I, I was I ran. That cat walked, I said, shit, let me sit back and see what they, who they follow. They will follow her stank ass. <laughs> that is crazy. Like Mr. T. Take off that jewelry, ain't nothing. <laughs> oh, shoot. And, uh, MC Hammer. MC Hammer, no, he was terrible. But he knew how to dance, though his rapping wasn't about nothing. Yeah, I'm telling you. Boy knew how to dance. I can't, I can't knock him for that. Cause I like dancing. But he couldn't rap for nothing. I can't touch this. You know, he was like a Jane Brown <laughs> in the music business. Cause you, you couldn't understand them, Jane Brown. Come and come and see him jump back again. I said, the guy said, he did not back there, who? The blue, oh, oh. Go ahead, Fred, that who? You know what I'm saying? MC Howard was just like that. Can't touch it. Uh, 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 don't some of y'all hate when you go to somebody's house and they got all kind of incense lit up everywhere. From the basement to from, from the top floor to the basement. Incense everywhere. You gotta go in there like that. You gotta talk like that. What's wrong? We be smoke be taking their breath. <laughs> Y'all know that. And then you go over there, it might be an on you bag your back, talking to your friends and stuff. You be like, man, I smell, uh. You'll be like, man, that's that innocent behind you. It went through your jacket. But you got me messed up, this is it? Man, the jacket off like murder, man. 
Why you have all these guesses where are you, man? Because we want to. Because you want to. Hey, that mother burnt my jacket. <laughs> all them different flavors. Do some apple strawberry. Apple peach. Hey. Then we be going to the doctor after that talking about something wrong with me. And like, you had a lot of smoke in your system. Oh, I know where that came from. Look like we found a little peach in there. <laughs> oh yeah, they did have a peach uh insect. Look like we saw some blue sonata on your fingers. <laughs> Blue Sonata. That's the best thing to be Blue Sonata in that, in that peach. That's it, says the word. Smell good. But you ain't got to be drowning us with all them answers. Make me seem like y'all doing something. You got no business. Or you got to smell somewhere around here. You trying to get rid of it. And you just killing yourself. Might go to sleep and then die. Now you're going to die. Or have to go to the hospital for having carbon dioxide. Incense could kill you. People know it, that's why they sell them. <laughs> they give you uh, 10 for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> they giving them away. Especially at the main rhyme store. Come some high stores, boy. If y'all ever, I'm telling you something, you can go on to any a rhyme store, everything is extra, extra cents. Not one cent. 30 more cents more, a 50 more cents more, <laughs> and get their money. And then you complain to me like, man, this little old black man cost this much. Hey, man, go to another store. Go get it from somewhere else. <laughs> they know that's the only store that's on that corner. Why walk to the walk in that store? Because they don't have corner. <laughs> they get their money. Half of them know each other. Hey, what's up, Scotty Whoopi? Scott, who the hell is that? That's just only what I hear. <laughs>